Hello everybody, this is Homer White, one of the Math 111 instructors for the fall of 2014, and I'm here to give you a little overview of the website that forms a central source of material for the course. You can get to pretty much everything you need through the website. First of all, let me draw your attention to the URL. You should bookmark this for your own browser, Statistics dot georgetowncollege dot edu so if you were on Mozilla you might do a control D to bookmark and then you can use it whenever you like some central features of the website first of all the course notes are available in various formats for example there's PDF course notes you can view them through this link or through the sidebar. If you're using Mozilla, they'll open up in a different tab of the same browser. You see a table of contents here, which has hyperlinks. You can also get table of contents on the side by going to the toggle sidebar, press it, and then instead of thumbnail sh sketches, we'll show the document outline and you can see the various chapters. They aren't numbered as they are in the table of contents, but you should be able to find what you like. So for example, if you wanted to begin with describing patterns and data, you could get here either through this hyperlink or through finding the appropriate hyper chapter hyperlink. This is probably the best way to read the notes if you plan to do some fairly extended reading. It can be a little bit difficult though if you want to copy and paste and try some code to use these notes. As you can see I'm trying to copy a piece of code and it's not so easy to get just the piece of code that I want and not other text. There's a couple of ways around this problem. One way is that you could simply download these notes. You have the option of downloading in most browsers somewhere in the tools near the top so in Mozilla for example you could download the notes here onto your own laptop computer and then open them up with um, some PDF reader that you have on your own computer and you'll usually find that it's easier to manipulate the copy and paste on the downloaded notes. Another possibility going back to the website is to look at the notes in HTML form there are a couple of ways that you can get to these. You could get to them here, through the sidebar, or chapter by chapter, up at the top under course notes. Let's take a look, for example, at chapter two. Again, there's a table of contents, so you can search for the section that you would like to see. As you can see, the text is not as pretty to read it hurt your eyes if you tried to read it for an hour or more at a time. But the graphics are okay. And the code, should you wish to copy any particular piece, is much easier to copy and then paste back into your RStudio in order to run the code and see what it's doing. Finally, if you would like to print out a hard copy of the PDF notes, or if you would like to print out a particular chapter that you're specially interested in, and you would like to do so cheaply, then I suggest downloading the black and white hard copy. Here the graphics appear in black and white, and, the, and they are specially designed to be readable in that format. So if you want to print cheaply, not have to use color printing, then I suggest downloading this black and white copy. It comes as a zip file, so you'll have to unzip it after you download it to your own computer, but then you can um, open it up and print it out any way you like. Some other features to keep in mind. The course slides for every part of every chapter are available, either from this link or from the sidebar. Having clicked on the sidebar link, we see slides for every part of every chapter. 
And if you wanted to view one, for example, say you were in chapter two, part two, using your left and right arrow keys, you can navigate your way through the slides. And again, if you're interested, you can always copy and paste any code that you like and give it a try out in our studio. Let's head back home and look at some other resources. The RStudio at server itself is available here as a link. So if I wanted to log in, I could do so. Another useful resource is YouTube channel, which is accessible through this link or through the videos link on the sidebar. The YouTube channel contains two important playlists. One is chapter presentations, and another we call RStudio Inferno, which gives you tips for navigating RStudio and dealing with any problems in R that you might encounter. I think you'll be looking a lot at videos for chapter presentations. They go along with each of the slides that you've seen. So for example, if you were in chapter two, part one, let us say, you can simply navigate to that particular chapter. Hello everyone, uh, this is Homer Whiteman. You can also look at the entire playlist and find the slides in the order that they occur in the course. Back to the main website, you'll see a link to a discussion board here and down here. During a regular semester course, we don't use the discussion board very much because we have help sessions and other ways of staying in touch. Looking along the top, in addition to the course notes or the slides, there is a way to get some uh, quick help on R functions. Once you know a function, have been introduced to it in the course, but maybe it's been a while since you've used it last and you want to remind yourself how to use it again, the R help link can be very uh, helpful for that purpose. For example, say you want to find, make yourself a bar chart, but you uh, have forgotten how to do particular types of bar charts. Simply go to bar chart GC, and you're taken to a little blog post tutorial that describes how to use bar chart in various situations. The table of contents, which is titled in this post, can be very useful for this. Notice that you can make bar charts to study one factor variable or to study the relationship between two factor variables. You can even review some warnings. Let's click on that. Warnings about making sure that you don't try to work with numerical variables in a bar chart setting. Headed back to the main website. From time to time, we may deal with a few instructional applets, and you can link to all of them here. Here are some primary links, and here are the same apps in some backup links. You can use either link that you wish. So for example, if I wanted to review one of the earliest apps in the course, simply click on it. And depending on which server you pick, you may have to wait a bit. And you can begin to play with your app. There's even a little practice on the 6895 rule, which you'll meet pretty soon in chapter two in the course. It comes from clicking on the little bell-shaped curve that you see next to the title of the web page. And after chapter two, you'll understand better what that app is trying to teach you. That's a quick overview of the website. I hope you'll always keep it bookmarked, always open it during class, and always have it available to you when you're studying at home. Thank you for listening.